Hey folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's intraday analysis video, brought to you by the creators of proprietary price, pattern, and time methodology. Learn the PPT strategies and profit for life. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. So markets are slightly higher today. Uh, interesting to note that the NASDAQ again is lagging. Early in the day, we saw good gains out of Facebook, Twitter, uh, the IBB, which is the biotech index. But a lot of these have given up their gains. And we'll take a look at them in just a little while. But you can see here the markets opened higher, sold off a little bit, rallied to make new highs. But notice the resistance point you came into, right into the double top from yesterday. So again, double top resistance. You didn't even really hit it the first two times. Then you kissed it right there, never taking out the high from Friday. And then the markets began to roll over. So I'm still getting the sense personally, and this is just the years of experience that I have, but this market is not that strong. All right, even with the update today, uh, just by noting the market price action here, we've faded in the afternoon. Now you're consolidating below the two moving averages right here. Uh, in addition, as I mentioned just a little while ago, if you look at the IBB, look at this, guys. I mean, the IBB is now down $2 on the day. That's a pretty spectacular drop here on the IBB. So something that I'm watching very, very closely myself. Um, and again, if we go to the daily chart, this is actually something pretty interesting. Take a look at this. It's actually piercing a little level of support right in this vicinity. So something we should definitely pay attention to. Plus, could be confirming below the uh, 200 moving average. All right now, again, where would be the next stop on this thing? Let's take a look here. I mean, from what I'm seeing, you have a little bit of support right here around the 200 level. Really, the 200 is the next area. Not to say it can't bounce in this area. That's something I'll be keeping an eye on as well. Uh, but I am watching very, very closely kind of in this range to see how it acts right around this 213 level. Uh, take a look at Twitter today, T TWTR. Only up 55 cents. This is the daily chart. And again, just to note the daily chart before I flip over to the intraday, you got to imagine it's going to take out this little pivot low right here on the daily chart around the $39 level. Just a matter of time, in my opinion. Uh, intraday, good example right here about the weakness. I mean, take a look. Uh, early in the day, it sold off sharply to gap fill, then had this great bounce, made a new high, couldn't even tag the 200 or the highs from last Thursday, and then rolled over. Still up 55 cents. But you have to say to yourself again, you know, why is this having so much trouble here? Why, why, why? So that's something I'll be following as well. Uh, if we bring up Netflix, Netflix, look at this. Same thing. And again, I'm focusing on NASDAQ stocks. And I, as I said, the NASDAQ is lagging today. Uh, but I think it's worthy because the NASDAQ and the, and the biotech has led the market lower, right? That's been the leading force. The Dow and the S&P have held up relatively well. If you look at their daily charts, they're just a little off their all-time or 52-week highs. But the NASDAQ, the biotech index, masterful sell-off. Masterful. And again, S&P's up about 8.5 right now. Dow's up 88. Uh, NASDAQ's only up 9 points, which is less than a quarter of 1%. So something we want to pay attention to there. If we look at Facebook, uh, same thing. Facebook is now negative on the day, and that's that's not a good sign for Facebook in the short term at all. So make sure, again, to be aware that right now, based on what I'm seeing at least, uh, I think that the NASDAQ could be a setting up for another dump. I think that we bounce later this week. But, um, you know, the NASDAQ, again, with the biotech week, definitely looks a little bit on the shaky footing right now. Okay, so that's what we have in this scenario here, folks. If we go to the uh, DIA, for instance, that's a different story. It's off its highs, but the DIA is still having a pretty good day. And, again, the Dow, this is the Dow ETF. If you flip to the daily chart, yeah, it's come off its highs, but it's still up in that upper range. Here's a double top that it actually hit a while back, and now you've seen a little bit of a pullback. Haven't gotten to the uh, 200 if I, as opposed to the NASDAQ or the Q's chart. Look at this Q's chart. I mean, this Q's chart is a massive rollover. Good support here that we're coming back into right here, but if this breaks through this line, it goes right to the 200 moving average. And that might be where we're headed. I mean, you know, in all fairness, I've been dead on this market, and, and I'm still based on looking at certain charts like the IBB and about a couple other charts, it does seem like the market wants to see a little bit of a, of a move down still. Okay? And again, I think you will get a big bounce, but my guess is we need a little bit more downside first, then you look for that big bounce. Okay? All right, so that's what's going on there. Um, what else do we want to look at here? I mean, we can take a look at some other stocks out there, name brand stocks. I think it, it's important for us to note some of the news this morning, even though I don't trade off of news. Citigroup reported earnings up $1.64, 3.6%. Great earnings there. But uh, they beat expectations. But in all fairness, look at what the stock's done lately. 
Mint's gotten crushed on the daily, so it's not surprising to see the stock bouncing back here just a little bit. All right, if we go to some other news out there, there were some retail sales this morning uh, that were slightly better than expected. But I think on Friday, one of the big news pieces that I noted was that the um, the uh, PPI, which is Producer Price Index, was very hot. Even the core, when you strip out food and energy, up 0.6%. And that does show some inflation on the producer side of things. And that does, I mean, I think that does warrant mentioning as well. Very much so. Okay, so just a couple little things, little odds and ends we want to mention there about what's driving this market. And again, uh, the retail sales this morning, Citigroup earnings probably giving things a little bit of a lift there. Uh, but again, look at J.P. Morgan. I mean, so you have Citigroup up, but look at the financials, the other financials. JPM is down 62 cents, folks. That is not a healthy move when the markets are generally green to see one of the leading financial stocks like this. All right, where could this go? Well, you have a little bit of a pivot low here you're almost into. And then really, if you take that out, uh, there'll be a little bit of a level here. And then ultimately down in this range is where you're going to go, down to the 50, 51, 52 area right in this vicinity. So we'll be watching that very, very closely, and I'll, I'll continue to kind of monitor it. Um... You can see Goldman Sachs is bouncing, even though JPM isn't. Now, JPM reported poor earnings on Friday, so I think it's part of it. But uh, Goldman Sachs is up a little bit on the day. If we look at Bank of America, Bank of America is up a little bit as well. So most of the other financials are acting a little bit better than we would say from the perspective of JPM. JPM definitely on the weaker side today. Okay. Uh, other stocks out there, Chevron. Chevron's up decently today. That's one of the stocks leading the Dow as uh, – as is Exxon, both up very nicely on the day, up 87 cents on Exxon Mobil. Uh, Baidu, which is a tech stock, is bouncing back a little bit today. Uh, I do think there's more downside on Baidu. If we take a look here, let me just take a look quickly. And if we scan here, I think this is your ultimate target. So you look for one more flush on Baidu into this area and then a big bounce, and then another flush, and you'll get down towards gap fill. And this is going to be probably when it gets down in this range, it'll be a longer term swing long. Right, in the short term, I don't think I would mess around too much. Longer term, I think this is where where you'd look for that longer bounce. Here's just a short term, you know, probably a 5%, 10% bounce here. And then this is your longer term entry, uh, as a potential entry, I should say. All right, I think that's about all I wanted to mention today, folks. Um, we... Uh, we continue to put out alerts. I'm actually going to put out another alert this afternoon. The new website is launched, uh, running beautifully for now, and uh, we encourage you to come check it out. You can see our track record under free market action. That's our, our verified track record. And, uh, you know, see what we do. Come join the Research Center. Uh, take, take the uh, seven-day free trial. That's all we can say there. Uh, great service, profitable service. We're making tons of money this year. If you're not, you got to step up your game and join us, and we'll show you how. Take care, folks.